Hi guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning April 18th, 2016. This week I'm going to be using the Magdalene Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno, and then pulling a color card from the Secret Language of Color Oracle deck by Anna Segal. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I will leave that information down below. And please also do not forget about the Vimeo channel for uh, May, which I will have out here shortly, hopefully. Uh, we're going to be doing love-focused readings, and what's already up would be the spiritual readings for April. And there's also my course up there on how to perceive your angels, so again, I will leave all that information down below. So, let's get to it. Surprisingly, last week, I only had one person come forward with that message that we had. And if you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. Or even if you did, go back and rewatch it and just see how it played out for your week. But I had one person come forward about that message and say, oh, you're using fear tactics. I can't listen to you anymore. But, you know, I prefer when those people come forward and make the comments because that was the exact kind of person that the angels were addressing. And she didn't handle it well, and she went away. So the reason why I'm bringing that up this week, and I'm being encouraged to bring that up, is to always look at how you're responding to these readings. Look at how you're responding. You know, what, what gets you triggered? What gets you upset? This woman was obviously just wanting to live in a bubble and not have anybody remind her of what's going on in the world. <laughs> so, um, you know, you have to be cognizant of your triggers. And that's a part of this week too. So there's not, not that there's going to be all these things maybe, I mean, there might be things happening in the world. We talked about that last week. Again, it kind of ties into the next few weeks, last week's message. Um, so yes, there might be things that are coming up, but if they come up and you're not even working through it, you're not learning the lesson, you're not learning anything about yourself from your reaction to that, then it's just going to keep happening. <laughs> okay. So be be the good student this week with yourself. Okay, let's get to it. What do we have here? Liberation. This card wants to come out. The Beloved. Oh, this is a soulmate card, guys. Revelation and gratitude. Okay, so remember last week we were talking about some stuff happening. Well, that's, some people might hear Revelation and be like, ah. <laughs> um, but this to me is like, it's the stuff that we were just talking about, how you learn about yourself. This revelation comes forward or something that was hidden is no longer hidden. This is going to be on a grander scale. So this will be around the world, something coming out. And I, I just, the reason why I say this is because I have a lot of this feeling where a lot of people are like, I knew it. <laughs> I've been saying that to my friends for so long. You know, they did not believe me and I knew I was right. Okay, but this might also come with a little bit of turmoil too. Now, what were we talking about? Because the messages are very connected from last week to this week. You have to really uh, sort of temper any fear. That's not to deny it, but to really see it for what it is and see that it should ha not have any power over you. Or if it does for a moment, let it not... Um, drag you down with it. Okay, so this is actually the third card that came up, but I wanted to, um, what are you guys showing me? Yeah, it's like a volcano going off, almost. But uh, I wanted to start here because it does kind of tie into the stuff that we were saying last week. So there might be some natural things going on in the world, but it's opening something up. It's it's un it's unearthing something, thank you. <laughs> it's unearthing something. So, despite what you might think, despite the intro and the beginning of this reading, we have a beautiful week coming up. Again, you know, what's happening out in the world, that's, that's one layer of stuff, okay? And then there's the individual. And on an individual basis, there are a lot of beautiful potentials here. So the first card we have is liberation. So again, this comes from this though. Uh, some personal revelation, it could be a worldwide uh, revelation that leads to liberation. So finding out something about yourself, finding out something about another, having that beautiful epiphany, that beautiful aha moment, and now you're free. It could be, you know, that you're free of a past pain that you, and it doesn't just happen overnight per se. It's, it's more, it's probably something you've been working on healing for a very long time, but you just finally get to this final note of, I'm done with this goodbye, <laughs> you know, and letting that go away and letting it not have control over you 
anymore. And this flows into this beautiful energy, which is the beloved. I love this card. I think it's so beautiful. I love the face on here. I love the colors. I just love uh, the symbols. I love it all. So yes, this is the soulmate card, but, but what's the but? <laughs> Let me just get this here. For some of you, this is coming together with a soulmate, definitely, or having a deepening of a connection with a soulmate. Um, but yet others, they're saying this is you connecting with yourself. And I know there's a lot of solitude kind of energy going around. Um, and I think it is, it's, it's like a, everyone retreat to their corners, okay? <laughs> Figure out who you are, train, do your thing, because now we're going to, you know, we got to find the love within so that you can contribute that love to the world. If you go around being angry all the time, if you're going around with your expectations and complaining because the life that you want is not the life that you have or so on and so forth, well, you're not contributing to anything, okay? You're, you're actually dragging down the energy and you're free to complain. It's cool. You know, again, I'm all for not denying your emotions, but what I'm saying is if you live there, if you, if you wallow in it, if it's a constant for you, you start swirling, you start spinning, you can't get out of it. Well, you're going to miss the love that, um, that's on offer for you. Again, for some of you, that's a love partner. Um, but in a grander sense, you're missing the experience of love and that's what you're here for. Okay. You're here to learn lessons and go through everything that you're supposed to go through, but you're also here to be a part of the love. So don't deny yourself that the beloved is you, you are the beloved in God's eyes. So this is you embodying that feeling liberated enough to come into that frequency and to exist in that frequency. And there might be the revelation might be, I am worthy. Oh, <laughs> I am good enough to be God's child. <laughs> so I will take that on. I will do that. Mm -hmm. And once you're hooked into this love, and once we're all kind of weaving this fabric of a worldwide peace and love and and grace and beauty and, and every other beautiful thing that you can put into that. Um, when things do go awry, when, when people who are not in that same energy are acting out, you're still in a calm, peaceful place. You recognize what's going on. You pray for whoever might be affected by it, but the revelations doesn't have to be yours. And that's what I'm hearing, the revelations outcome per se, and this is touchy, I know, but there's gonna be sort of a division and people are gonna be experiencing two different worlds. So some are um, in a loving space and some are not, just to put it in a very kindergarten fashion. <laughs> um, and what I'm feeling like is the outcome that was slated perhaps for the world will then only be experienced by the few who refuse to accept that they are, this sounds like a threat, and I don't mean it to sound like that at all, but the message is coming through is people are gonna perceive things in one way, in like a negative way, and they're gonna really be suffering, but not because they're being punished, but because they're doing it to themselves. They're doing it to themselves. Where on, as on the other hand, when somebody else has a different perspective and they love themselves, they love others, they focus on the love. Again, it's not to say that they never have a feisty moment or they never get mad or they never, <laughs> you know, that's ridiculous. Of course they do. But I'm hearing God always knows your intention. God always knows your heart. And God knows that you're a good person. So you're going to start experiencing things in a very different way. So let's leave it at that because I don't really feel like contending with people who are going to come at me and be like, the Bible says, da, 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 da. Um, I know, I'm aware, <laughs> but these are the messages that are coming in. The final card we have before we get onto the color card is gratitude. And this is that whole thing of life is really is beautiful and it's happening right before us. But because it's not happening in the way that we think, we're missing it. We're missing the miracles. You know, even if there are things going on in the world that we don't want to hear about or see or whatever, still have gratitude for what you do have. Have gratitude for the way things are 
finally kind of closing down a little bit. This isn't the end of the world per se. <laughs> I'm not going that far. But I'm just saying have gratitude that you're you're getting the lessons, that you do have this chance to be a part of this fabric of love. And be, be grateful that you are a child of God, that you are the beloved. Okay? And let this... Whatever, whatever negative connotation that someone might have or attach to this, let it be their problem. Let it be their problem. Your revelation is this. And this is who you are. Okay? Now, let's get on to the color card. Let's see what's going to come up for us. Yeah. Um... Really make a concerted effort to meditate <laughs> this week. You should be doing that anyway. And if you can do so safely, and only if you can do so safely, please light a candle. A white candle would be best. Um, and just focus on being the beloved. You could also do a purple candle too because they're showing. But make sure if you're doing purple, make sure, or blue. There's purple and blue in here. Purple or blue, preferably purple, if you're choosing between those two colors, along with a white candle. Right? Sorry about that, guys. My um, my memory card filled up right as I was getting to my good big point. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about lighting candles and focusing on being the beloved. Okay, the the, the more that you can not worry about <laughs> your individual situation so much um, and focus more on the world when you're doing that. Um, so what they're asking you to take a grander perspective. On, on being the beloved. So some of you are going to be like, no, I want love and I want it right now. So I'm going to focus on my soulmate coming in. Okay, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. But you're like tapping into that much love when there's a whole world full of it. And honestly, if you tap into the whole world full of love, that just automatically kind of makes you a match for your soulmate. So you're taking the hard route, I guess is what we're getting at. So we were doing a color card, weren't we? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to that. All right. Almost. They're saying almost. Not quite. Almost. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Color card for this week is... Ooh. Indigo. Improve your vision. The number is 40. <laughs> you guys ready? Are you ready? Here you go. Here, I'll do this. Look at those colors. This is your focus for this week. Focus on your intuition. Uh, you can even be working with Archangel Metatron to help develop your intuition, but this is where you need to be this week, okay? This is where, you, even if there's a volcano erupting, I mean, if you're in the path of the volcano, run, get away from it, and reach out to the rest of us. We'll pray for your, your protection and all that good stuff, but or if, it, if it's like a metaphorical volcano exploding, whatever, this is where you live. This is what you're doing. Again, not being in denial, but being in your wisdom, being in your intuition, knowing you are a beautiful and perfect child of God. You are the beloved. Look at the cosmic kind of look about this too. There's some cosmic truth coming through to each and every one of us this week. So it's imperative that you be in a liberated state, liberated from the dramas of the world so that you can perceive it when it happens. I told you they're building this up to something and I think that's it. So <laughs> let's just end it there. Have a beautiful week and of course I am sending you guys so much love. Take care.